Next dessert is Eclair dessert. This is actually Lauren's favorite. I need to do like my kids' favorite desserts. That's a video one day. Anyways, we're making chocolate Eclair dessert. All it is, graham crackers, pudding with milk, and chocolate frosting. It's so easy, it's so delicious. We made this, we used to make this all the time. And then our neighbor actually brought it over one time. They had it frozen in a thin pan. Like I'm gonna make mine in a nine by 13 pan. They did it like in a um, jelly roll style pan, so it was real thin. And I was like, wow, this tastes so, so good. And then I'm like, wait a minute, that's that same dessert, but it was thinner. It was actually really good, but we're gonna do it in a nine by 13 because we have to conserve space because we got food going. So all you can do is mix up your pudding, um, usually you use um, French vanilla pudding. I didn't, Walmart was out of everything. If you know my day at Walmart, if you don't, watch the Walmart video. <laughs> so, this past week, but anyways, so I just got vanilla. You could probably just add some vanilla extract to it. It'll be fine. So you layer graham crackers. You do your pudding first with pudding, pudding, with the pudding mix, um, milk, and Cool Whip. And then um, mix that up real good. I'm gonna do it in my mixer over here because it's working out awesome. And then layer the graham crackers, half of the pudding, graham crackers, half of the pudding graham crackers and then you melt this in the microwave take make sure all of the foil is off before you put it in the microwave melt it so it's just like drippy and you know pours really good then you pour it on top and then you freeze it delicious delicious it gets nice and you can even just put it in the refrigerator you want it to get soft because this is one where like you want it to absorb into the crust because it makes it nice and just delicious chocolate eclairs are make it it's really really good All right, whenever you're layering a graham cracker dessert, always like switch up how you put the graham crackers on so that like if you put them exactly the same way, like obviously some of the little corners are gonna miss out and not get graham crackers. So I switched up how I put it. I was just sitting there going, oh wait, I gotta do a whole nother layer. Is this gonna fit? And it did. So this is good and done. What I'm gonna do now is put this in the freezer because you want it to freeze solid because then it gets that squishiness. And then when that's frozen, we will uh, take it out or frozen or almost frozen we'll take it out for the i'm gonna use microwave this and pour it on top it's so good i promise you you will love this dessert along with the strawberry pretzel delicious so all right let's clean up our mess again okay let's make up donuts we know these are delicious they are good oh yeah i had them last time i'm like gosh i forget how delicious these donuts are so and they're like good and healthier healthier right they gotta be healthier they are healthier so bean donuts delicious best thing ever make some for your family they're really good i'm gonna quadruple this recipe Yes, quadruple. But I'm just gonna do two batches at a time because you know, I always overfill and it's never a good thing. So I'm gonna put double in here, but we're gonna make the chocolate donuts. Okay, this stuff, I got this, this is Kirkland. This spice is like massive. It's like crazy. I got this at the discount store a long time ago and used it. All right, mixed up my, um, what is this stuff called? Donuts, it's early. I have a nice bag. Last time I made this, remember the bag was thinner. It was cheapy and it just exploded. So we're hoping for no blowouts today. But this is good, just gonna pipe this in here, put it in the oven, bake it at 350 for about 10 minutes and then we're gonna work on our next batch.
Okay, total had a fail there. I'm like, why do these not taste good? I totally forgot to add sugar. Completely forgot to add sugar. I'm like, they're just not sweet. So I'm gonna try to do something here. I'm gonna mix up another batch. This is bad. I won't throw this away, but I'm gonna see if I can just add the sugar to this, but I'll have to mix it with the next one and just do a big giant mixture. Does that make sense? So we're gonna make another batch. I'm gonna add way more sugar, pour it into a big bowl and mix it. Yes, I know, that's what happens. I'm like, I have it on, I think on the screen in the last video, I never put sugar on there. That's my fault. <sighs> okay, so let's pick all this back out, put it in the bowl, remix another matchup, but put more sugar, <laughs> and then um, we'll mix it all together. That smells a whole lot better. All right, I'm gonna put it here. I might even put it in, put it in a mixer here. We're gonna make this work. See, we have fails instead of throwing all that away. We're gonna see if we can just make it work here. So I gotta get my chocolate chips melted. I like using the dark chocolate. That I feel like that tastes delicious. This one, the dark, 53% KKO. We're gonna put that in the microwave and then I'm gonna get this in here. We'll stir it, then we'll add our flour, slowly stir it, and repipe it into the donut molds. All right, good fail in the kitchen. That happens, right? I was tasting them and I'm like, why do they not taste like so delicious? Cause usually the batter is even good. And I'm like, maybe I'm just, I've had enough of them. They just don't taste good anymore. No, it's because I didn't add sugar, Amy. <sighs> what do you do? All right, I think I'm we're doing four batches here. So then we can just pour all this in here. I might have to put it in my mixer. We'll see if I can do it by hand. I will just add this so it's more liquidy and then we'll add the flour. Slowly, but yeah, now I've added everything. So the last video, it didn't even have sugar on there. So I'm sure people made it with no sugar and it's like, why does this taste so bad? It's because Amy forgot to add it to the screen. Ugh. Okay, let's pour the chocolate in here, do a big stir and then we'll add our flour. All right, my arm is ready to fall off, so I'm gonna put it in the mixer. <laughs> All right, that batch tastes a whole lot better. Let's put it in a bag and pipe it in. It'll be a little easier, it's not so thick. Okay, that batch of donuts was a whole lot of work to get them, but I feel like that piped in perfectly. It's thinner, works. Put these in the bake for 10 minutes and get the next batch going. All right, Jello is almost set up. See how it's kind of wobbly? That's what you want. So I gotta cut the strawberries really quick, cut the tops off, slice them. I'm gonna put those on top of the of this and then pour the Jello. Okay, so if your jello sets up too much, just reheat your jello 
if you did it in a glass, like a metal pan like I did, just, or a bowl, just put it like on your stove when your oven's on, it'll kind of, it'll soften it. If you ever make like those jello jigglers and it just, you have all those pieces, just remelt them, it works good. All right, this is done. Donuts are almost done. I might be able to do my eclair dessert. Let me put this in the refrigerator. All right, got the next batch in. Let's hope I made the right on the blueberry ones. <laughs> right there. So I'm gonna mix up my wet ingredients, then the dry, then mix them together. And I think I'm gonna double these. I will just double these because these are good instead of quadruple because they're good, but not as good as chocolate. All right, so I'm gonna do my um, frosting for them or the dipping thing. It will harden up a little bit, so I'll just have to kind of heat it up over here. I'll just put it on the oven. But because some of them are done, the chocolate ones are gonna be done, and then I'll put the blueberry ones. I'm gonna do all the same. It's a glaze, not a frosting, because it just tastes good that way. So I'm gonna double this, so double it. I will double it. I'll just add a little bit more powdered sugar. Let's, let's do that. Okay, so we're still finishing up the donuts. Those are in the oven. Got these ones done, they will sit, and I'll have one more batch in there. So I pulled out the chocolate frosting, put it in the microwave there to melt it. This is out, this is pretty frozen, not completely, but enough to put the frosting in. And then I've got a pot of water boiling. I'm gonna start making my noodle salad because all my desserts are done. We're moving on to dinner for tonight. So this will be done here. It's gonna be pretty runny because you're gonna wanna just pour it on top of your dessert here so I'm just gonna stir this and then I'm just gonna pour it and just use a spatula and kind of lightly go over it and then go put it back in the freezer and then you can I'll probably freeze it for a little bit and then I'll take it out for tomorrow so that way it's uh, nice and thawed but delicious okay so we're still working on a lot of stuff here noodles aren't going I'm gonna start making my gnocchi soup I love this one so I'm gonna chop up my onions celery carrot Put it in my pan here to saute over here on the stove.
Okay, so the gnocchi soup is going good here. I'm just gonna pour in my, I have vegetable broth, that's what I'm gonna use today. I already put my chicken in there, I kind of melted it, melted it, I melted the chicken in the microwave, defrosted. it. And I had time this time, I haven't had time to put in here, so time like the spice, the herb. So we're gonna bring this to a boil and then I'm gonna add the gnocchi pasta and then the spinach and that's it. And cream, heavy cream. So stir this, let that come to a boil and we'll be good to go. Okay, the blueberry ones, I should've left them in the pan longer, <laughs> but I'm trying to hurry. So I took them out. So, you know, like this one stuck to the pan. I should, I should have let them sit. I didn't. That's what happens when you're hurrying. Stop hurrying, Amy. So I'm gonna kind of drizzle these as best I can with the leftover uh, frosting, the dressing, you know, the stuff I have. I might actually, I said, let me add a little lemon juice to it. This is the one where you're supposed to add the lemon zest. And you guys gave me great ideas for what to do if you didn't have lemon zest, but I think I'll just add the lemon juice to it. So I'm just gonna stir this. I'm gonna see if I can just kind of drizzle on there. I bet you I can drizzle it, that'll work. Okay, soup is ready. I forgot, I'm gonna add vegetables to it too, so. I do like having these in there, so I'm gonna add these, they're a little bit frozen. I'm gonna take your spinach that you've been storing in the freezer, remember, it's just fresh, just squeeze it, and it'll be all broken up. So I'm gonna let that come back to a boil and then I'll add my gnocchi into it. All right, I'm gonna chop up all the veggies for my noodle salad. All right, the noodle salad is done. Put it in a nice little bowl, put it in the refrigerator. And then my soup is done over here. Let me bring you over here. <laughs> Such a bad angle, so there we go. Soup is done here. The potato, the gnocchi has risen to the, t is risen, it has risen, hallelujah. No, it's at the top here. So this is good. This is so good. You're gonna add about two cups of heavy whipping cream. You're gonna add half and half. I've never done that. I don't mind having that extra fat in there. Who cares? It's Easter. When did your babies come home? Not all the time. We can feed them some fat. Delicious. So this I'll have for soup today. This way when they get here, if they're hungry, because they're flying in, they'll be here about one if they're, uh, let me get a spoon try first. I can always try it. So good, so good. Yes, perfect. All right, shutting this off. This is gonna be here, make sure it's, there's a big chunk of chicken. Perfect. All right. Put this away. Okay, so we're moving, we're getting things done. Look at all the dishes. The girls are gonna wake up and go, oh my goodness, what happened, mom? Girls and boys. So girls, just help out, remember, more. All right, I'm gonna make some spinach feta turkey burgers. This is Ashlyn's favorite food right now, so I'm gonna make, she makes meatballs, Paul said, with, then she has them over rice with sweet chili sauce, so I have rice already cooked. I'll heat that up, because we have the noodle salad that's all surprise, and as well as the, fries today. So we will um, do this as a burger and cook it on the smoker. So I'm going to get out my turkey and all the stuff and add it. All right, look what I have. Gloves. Oh yeah, gloves. You guys tell me that I'm like smart. So it's two pounds of turkey. I have three pounds of turkey, so I'm going to do like one and a half times this recipe.
Okay, so the only bad thing is have everything out beforehand, like a pan to put these on. You know, all that good stuff. I got my glass pan here. Put the glove back on. But yeah, this is the hookup. You guys said to wear gloves. That's a smart, smart idea. It's just that, like, when I was putting all the ingredients in, I felt like I tried to put these back on. I was like, wait a minute, I gotta keep washing my hands because I didn't have everything out. Get the okay, I just ripped them. Awesome. Awesome. Get everything out beforehand so you don't have to take them off before you do it. Okay, let's make some patties here. I have to touch you too. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna use my arms. Okay, I was not ready for that. What a mess. <laughs> okay, so I don't usually make turkey burgers. I think they're supposed, I made the recipe just like I said. So I wonder if it's just supposed to be a little bit more gooier. I don't know, I hope so. I'm gonna put a piece of wax paper on here and put these other ones on it. Like hamburgers, you gotta kind of roll a little bit. These, I didn't really have to do anything. And I'm like, is that how they work? Cause a little more moist. I don't know, we'll find out. I apologize, Ashton, if you watch this video and go, mom, you totally made these wrong. It's just because I've never done turkey before. I haven't done turkey in a long time. We used to, but I haven't done like meat burgers and stuff. I probably could have done, but it's just so wet. All right, I don't know. I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna call Lauren and Matthew. They, they do make this and see how it is. All right, let me clean up my mess here and then we're gonna keep moving on. All right. Getting to the end here, people. The last thing I'm gonna do is a veggie tray and cut the fruit up so we can eat that. So I'm just gonna make two tiny, two tiny, two little veggie trays on here so we can have them for the weekend. All right, so what hold on. What a great day. Oh my goodness, I'm finished. It is quarter to 10. That's good. I need to be done because I've got to fly now, get kids moving, get breakfast for them, get the house cleaned up. I won't show you that. It's just gotta be cleaned up, wiped off, laundry done, decorate for Ashley's birthday. You'll see all of that in Monday's vlog. So this is what we ended up with today for Gather Your Fragment Friday. We got all these delicious bean donuts. I mean, who doesn't want to come to Amy's house and ha eat a donut and then go, oh, it's made with beans. <laughs> no, they're so good. These are delicious, even though they're a little like, I took them out too soon. These are so good. Learning to love these with the lemon. And then we've got the gnocchi soup. That'll be a good lunch. And then in here, we've got our strawberry jello salad there, the one for Jaden. The pasta salad for tonight. There's fruit here, cut up here, here. This is for like to eat today. That'll be for later. My turkey burgers are back there. What else did I make up? Veggies, I pulled out all our, these are gonna be for Ashton's birthday tonight. Uh, cheesecake, I bought cheesecake. Yes, I could have made stuff, but I bought it. That's a good birthday fun. Strawberries for tonight. There's the jello. All right, let me give you a tip. If you don't want it where it separates in the bottom, mix the whipped cream in when it's almost set up, just with a hand mixer. But you know me, I had to get this done. There's that, and then, all right, this one's in here. This is 
Oh yeah, frozen, frozen. This will be good. I'll cover this and then we'll take this out here tonight. I'll make myself a note. So that's dinner for Gather Your Fragments. All right, so that is Gather Your Fragment Friday. I'm finished, done. This mom is gonna go, you know why? Because my babies are coming home and I gotta go get other things to get ready to get done. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. These were all tried and true recipes that we love. That's why I made them repeat, but something we enjoy. So have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you guys again tomorrow for Abundantly Blessed, and then I'll see you again on Monday, and that'll be when all our birthday party fun, all the fun we had this past week, this weekend, Easter weekend, which is after you guys, but it's not here yet for us. So I'll show you all that next week. So have a blessed day. We'll see you. Bye. And for those of you that want to stay, I'm going to read our psalm for the day. Psalm 70, prayer for help against persecutors. Oh God, come quickly to save me. Oh Lord, come quickly to help me. Let those be ashamed and humiliated who seek my life. Let them be turned back and humiliated who delight in my hurt. Let them be turned back because of their shame and disgrace. Who says, aha, aha. May all those who seek you as life's first priority rejoice and be glad in you. May those who love your salvation say continually, let God be magnified, but I am afflicted and needy. Come quickly to me, O God. You are my help and my rescuer. O Lord, do not delay. Don't delay. Okay, have a blessed day.